877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Okay. Money is sad. your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network with your host, Phil Grandy. The corporate America, which used to care about workers and communities in addition to their shareholders, now is just for the shareholders, maximizing stock price with no help to the workers. And Trump, as a candidate, Candidate Trump, he agreed with that. In fact, this is what he said about the stock buybacks, how they create these fake rallies, and here's what he called it. The only thing that looks good is the stock market, but if you raise interest rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. We are in a big, fat, ugly bubble. But he made a terrible mistake. Welcome to Phil's Gang, coast to coast, around the country, off the Wall Street Radio Network. We're going to review that. And this is very, very serious. Nobody's talking about this today. But with Schumer coming out and with Bernie Sanders saying they're going to curtail these stock buybacks, that couldn't be worse luck for President Trump. And here's why. When President Trump, or when he was a candidate, he kept saying these stock buybacks, which they are. They're fraud. That's why they never, that's why they were illegal. They were a felony. It was Reagan who changed it, and he was going to just change it for a little while after, after we had the big collapse, and he was going to hope to get to stimulate the market a little bit, but not to do it every day. Well, here's what's going on. This market, since 2008, corporations have been taking these stock buybacks, and really simple, all stock buyback is if you pull more of your shares off the market, you create a demand. So if you have a million shares outstanding and you pull half a million back, that means there's more of a de demand. So your stock is going to go from 10 to $30 or 10 to $50. It's all fraud. And this is what companies have been doing. So when these stocks keep on going up, and when you remember what was happening when Trump, when, when candidate Trump became the almost, let's go back to November 2016. Let's go back in time. In November 2016, the night of the election, when he won, the market was on a rally. The night he won and he came out and said that he was going to do all the things. He was going to cut back, uh, repeal Obamacare. He was going to do a trillion dollars worth of road and bridge work, infrastructure, all the stuff he promised. and cut back all the um, regulations. Remember, the market started to go up 37%, but the market didn't go up on earnings. See, market used to go up the old-fashioned way on hard work where CEOs would take their profits – take half of their profits, and they would reinvest those profits back into the stock market. They would, uh, they would uh, I mean, into the company, rather. Into the company, they would take half the profits, and they would also, let's say they took uh, $5 uh, uh, million. They would borrow another $5 million. They would put $10 million back into their company. They would buy new equipment, new machinery, they would update their uh, facilities, buy new buildings. That would increase productivity. And with, with the increase in productivity, then work. Then the workers would get a wage. Now, it wasn't, now let's not, <laughs> it wasn't that the, uh, the, the uh, barons, the big manufacturing industrial barons had big hearts. They wanted to give these, give folks raises. No, not at all. Back then, if you go back to the 50s and the 60s and 70s, you had unions. 
and the unions were there protecting the folks. It used to be the Democratic Party, but no more. But it used to be the unions and the union leaders. So when companies started to do well, they wanted to make sure their workers got some of that that, that profit so they could uh, have a better standard of, of living. And it was good because at the time when companies were making profits and by reinvesting their profits and the, and the, and the labor was making more money, that was spending. Spending is 70% of our economic growth. So you got company buying new equipment, new machinery, uh, hiring people. That grew the economy. And then the wage increases grew the economy uh, because the people went out and spent. And spending is 70% of our economic growth. It was all good. It was all good. But it wasn't until the unions got greedy. Remember, the unions got really greedy. The unions, all of a sudden now, they wanted, they had beautiful pension plans. They had insurance, and now the unions got greedy. They wanted to, if someone was sick, they wanted to make sure the person, he didn't have to show up for work, but he got paid. I mean, it got crazy. The unions went nuts. They went nuts. And finally, the unions and the union bosses and the, the folks, they wanted to live just like the CEO, just like the investors. Well, you can't do that because they're, they're not willing to take the risk. Remember, if you own a business, you're there, you're going to take a risk that your employees aren't going to take. So therefore, you get bigger share of the pie, which makes sense because they're taking the biggest risk. They should get the biggest pie. Well, unions started to fight that. They wanted everybody to be equal. It was crazy. But timing was perfect. The sun, the moon, the stars was lining up perfect. This country called Japan that we beat during World War II was coming back. They were trying to build, trying to come, you know, they're trying to get back on their feet. So this was, so Wall Street, they started to think, wait a minute, let's get rid of this manufacturing. Why are we a manufacturing economy anyways? We're better off being a financial service economy. We can make much more. Being a financial service economy, we can be 20% of our GDP. Back then, manufacturing was like 12% of GDP. Let's get rid of, of, of the uh, manufacturing. And they did. They, it was a great timing they started to sell all the factories and um, they, they they japan came over and started to take all our plants and um you know dismantle them ship them back over to japan well you know the whole story so everybody started to ship their stuff over to japan then the same then the same thing happened with china so everything was going along great so so all of a sudden now wall street was getting very, very wealthy because now they're in the financial service industry. And the financial service insurance and real estate, that was really where Wall Street started to make money. And that was what was going on. But at that time, remember what grew before they dismantled manufacturing, it was by, again, it was the fault of the unions. People were doing terrific. But now what happened? All their jobs started to get outsourced. And then if you all of a sudden you went into work and you wanted more money, the job would remind the, the boss would remind you, hey, we could just outsource your job. So 2000, the crash comes 2008 and they decide, you know what we got to do here? Let's we got to we got to rally the stock market. Let's rally this. We got to rally the stock market because things aren't good for the financial service industry. The real estate industry just collapsed, totally collapsed. So we got to create wealth. They need to create wealth for the one percentile, actually for the 10 percentile who controls most of the stock. And that's what they started to do. They said, let's do stock buybacks. And so the stock buybacks started to get crazy. Companies started to keep buying back their own shares to move their stock up. Because the problem is you couldn't move stock prices up because people lost $19.2 trillion in wealth between stocks and, and their home equity, they didn't have any money to spend. So they came up with this thing of stock buybacks. In other words, CEOs no longer had to invest money into companies. No more do capital investment the old-fashioned way. They didn't have to be innovative. They didn't have to work hard. This was much easier. Let's just take and buy our own shares back. There'll be less shares outstanding. That'll push our shares up, and we'll put all that money in our pocket because think, give credit to, 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 uh, to the uh, folks, CEOs, 
then remember we're tied to the stock price for their money for their compensation talk more about that when we get back want more information on this show go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG Thousands of investors trust PhilzGang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang MaxVest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They 
take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you start making money. Please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Radio Show. Want to know more about Phil's Gang? Go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. So they're talking now about limiting stock buybacks. Now, that's going to make a big difference on the market because the only reason the market's going up is because of stock buybacks, not because of the old-fashioned way where corporation CEO would take their profits, invest them back into the company, new machinery, new technology, new equipment, productivity would increase, that productivity would then give the, the, the workers a raise, and then the economy grew nicely because you had economic growth from spending on both ends. You had the company spending for new machinery, new equipment, capital investment, as they call it, and then the employee got more money. He went out and spent. And remember, spending is 70% of our economic GDP growth. That was a beautiful thing in the 50s and the 60s and in the, in the 70s that everything started to break down when Wall Street decided to get rid of manufacturing as our economy and switch to financial services. It was much more profitable for them. And everything was working out fine. As I said, the sun, the moon, everything lined up perfect. We were just coming into technology. Uh, there was a new thing for us. We could get rid of all our factories, sell our, dismantle them, sell them to Japan. They were, they were take them, actually, they would take our factories from the U.S., ship them to Japan, and then we could sell, we, we could ship our stuff over there. We could, uh, I mean, it was just a beautiful thing. So the folks who left their factory jobs, who lost their factory jobs, they could be trained back into technology, and that was working out beautiful, good thing. But when things all got screwed up was after 2008, when instead of letting the economy collapse, which would have been a good thing, let the market go down even further, go into a recession to, so that we could clean up everybody's balance sheets, the corporate balance sheets, get rid of debt, and come out of the recession with a GDP of, of, of you know, 4 to 6%, creating about uh, uh, 400000 jobs a month. Well, we decided not to do that because remember what baby Bush did. He decided to save the banks because remember his family was tied to all the banks and all that nonsense. So the problem is this, as the market keeps kept going up and up and up, this, we created a whole new bubble and CEOs no longer had to be innovative. They no longer had to work hard. They didn't have to compete anymore. They didn't have to build better products, cheaper to compete. They could stay home because all they had to do is instruct their CEOs or CFOs to buy more shares. And when they buy more shares, that means less shares available. And when you spread your terrible earnings over fewer shares, then like magic, your earnings, your profits shoot up all fake. And then your stock price that goes from $10 into, to 30 which otherwise it would have never done if it was honest and without these stock buybacks. Trump comes in and he becomes president. He identifies this big, fat, ugly bubble that's been created since 2008 due to stock buybacks. But remember, the stock buybacks were tied back to 0% interest, as you know, called QE or quantitative easing. And as a candidate, he nailed it. And he said, this is a phony, this is going to be the biggest crash ever. But he, but, but he got spoiled when he came in in 2000 and, and when he came in in 2016 and he won the election, all of a sudden the stock market goes up 37%. He goes, God, I love this. This is amazing. Hey, hey, he says, hey, no, this is because of me. He says, this is because of me. This is why the market's going up. He took ownership of the market. He, he, he loved it. Remember? 
He, he loved it. The stock market has gained trillions of dollars in value since my election and has reached record highs. And that's all he used to say. But remember the trillions. It was $13 trillion. Remember, 80% of the $13 trillion went to one percentile. The one percentile. It didn't filter down. Remember, it used to be, before stock buybacks, that money... Corporations made, let's say, it's S&P 500 group made $17 trillion in profits a year. That used to filter back down through Main Street, and Main Street would benefit, and, and, and people would do much better, their standard of living go up. But no, since 2008, and everybody's sitting around there hearing the jibber-jabbers talk about, look how great this economy, boy, the economy's booming, everything's great, and the guy's sitting around saying, I don't feel it. When am I supposed to feel it? Hey, what am I? Hello, when am I supposed to feel this economy booming? I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm holding down three jobs. My wife's holding down two jobs. I'm working paycheck to paycheck. Hey, when am I supposed to feel it? And then, and then Trump turns around. And he goes, Ah, this is great. He says, Know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give a tax cut to the large corporations, and that means if they take all that they save 1.5 trillion instead of giving it to us in taxes, they'll take that 1.5 trillion and and they'll and they'll buy their own shares back. They'll push the market up. I'll take credit for it again. I'll get reelected so easily, and that's what he did. He lost. He he, he lost. He lost concept of what he was doing. He got elected for one reason, because he was pointing out the economy was terrible. It was all fake, the stock market. He had to create new jobs. And all of a sudden, he turns around and says, oh, I like this. Now what's happening? Now you take Schumer and you take Sanders. Those two despicable human beings are saying, we've got him now. He took ownership of a stock market, which no president ever does. It's the dangerous thing in the world to take it, especially when the stock market is going up on fraud, which used to be a felony, stock buybacks. Now they're saying, we're going to take the market away from him. As soon as we take stock buybacks, this market will collapse 40%. What's he going to do now? The only way he could make... The only way he looks like a hero is as long as there's stock buybacks. As long as the stock market keeps going up, he can keep taking credit, just like he did here, right? Again. The stock market has gained trillions of dollars. See? So he was taking credit for the market, which he should have said, see these trillions of dollars? Sell into it. Join Phil's gang. Sell into it. Make your money while you can in the market and get out because it's going to fall apart. It's going to collapse because these interest rates are too high. It's all fraud. The only people making money are the one percentile. That's it. We're not building jobs. Factories aren't putting in new equipment. There's no value with stock buybacks. No value. But he didn't do that. Now Schumer's coming back. And they're going to get him. They're going to say, okay, we're going to take the stock market away from him. Then what's he going to do? Bad thing he took ownership of the market. When we get back, let's take a look at the members, how my members are doing with stocks. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here. And it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding Cures, Saving Children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th. 
at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Actually, yes, I am. Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Hi. I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. Are you tired of being lied to about some magical economic recovery that only benefits the one percentile? And then when the market does collapse, you're sitting there calling your broker, what do I do when you should be shorting? Learn how to short the market. Continue to listen to my radio show, philsgang.com. Become a member, only $39.95 a month, and learn how to short. Don't wait. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang Max Best 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Let's go to Stock Corner and let's review how my members are doing with their stocks and hopefully you'll join the gang and follow. Phil's Gang Stock Corner is brought to you by the MaxVest 1000 Stock Charts. Okay. Now, every day you hear me say, join my gang, and I have a, one, I have a program that I think is a wonderful program. I have two different programs, but one program is ideal for people who just don't have time to invest, don't have time to learn. It's five stocks, brand-name stocks that I have in a portfolio. 
those five stocks every day at two o'clock we post for our members what to do with each one of those stocks whether you do one or all five is up to you we've had the same five stocks now for two years we also have the spiders in etf if all you did was join my gang for one month and just followed me on the spiders you would never go back to your 401k I mean, the 401k product is a failure. It's a failure. Remember when they got rid of all the factories and manufacturing and shipped it over to China and Japan, they couldn't wait to get rid of the pension because the pension was very expensive for these companies. And the 401k expenses you're, are so screwed with expenses. Expenses can't be understated. And it's the only product in America that people buy. They don't even know the price of the darn thing. They don't even know how to judge its quality. And worse, they don't even know the danger because the danger is, remember, they're skimming $250 billion a day off the top. The returns in your 401k are so terrible because we now have constant stock market crashes. We're going to have them forever now. Ever since we switched to an economy, to, to a uh, financial economy. Remember, and people aren't making money like they used to because, as you know, with stock buybacks, money doesn't go. The companies, CEOs, don't reinvest it back into the company. Therefore, people's wages aren't going up. That's why wages are the same as they are just for inflation as in the 70s. Don't listen to this nonsense talk that we're, wages annually is up 3%. For God's sakes, Obamacare is up 6, 7, 8, in some states 10, 15%. It's a, it's a joke. It's almost it's so difficult to make money today working for companies because the CEO is going to put the money in his pocket because his tie, his money, the CEO, is tied to the stock price. And that's why they love doing stock buybacks. They don't, there's no value for a stock buyback. For the company, for you, it's only for the CEO and the biggest shareholder. But, the, but, but getting back to the 401k, please listen to me. The return in a 401k is horrible. Over 30 years, the average is 4%. Where worst case, in the spiders, the S&P, is double that, 8%. Now, look, if you're a member, and let's just take my spiders. We've been in this. We, I had my members buy the spiders on, I think it was January 3rd. So it's been a, a month now. Our return in the spiders is 7% but for one month. But that's not the thing. Here's the thing, that... Every day, we make sure you do exactly what you're supposed to do with that spider, especially long-term investing. My color-coded chart with my algorithms tell me when money's going in and money is going out, and you're going to see that. And I'm going to tell you when to buy it. I'm going to make sure that you don't lose any more than 3% to make 10%. So there's a bottom in there. There's no big fees. You're paying me $39.95 a month to oversee the S&P for you and whatever other stocks that you decide to go with. And every day is posted at 2 o'clock. You can't beat that. You're not going to get that with a 401k. And here's the other thing. When markets drop, you're in a 401k, you are so screwed because you, I hate to use that word, but you are because you can't mitigate those losses by switching and shorting. In a, in a, the spiders, you can turn around immediately and short it. We'll show you how to do it, take you by the hand so that you're short when you're supposed to be short, and then you're going to get out when you're supposed to get out, and you'll run like hell when you run like hell. So it's all through my color-coded chart, when to buy, when to sell, which identifies the money, the institutions, when they're buying and when they're selling. So Try just the spiders. I want to do something today. I'm going to invite just 10 people, 10 people. I want you to join me today and just, it's $39.95. I'll give you the MV2 color coded chart for free. Follow me for the next 30 days on the spiders, just the spiders only, and do exactly what I tell you. And again, if you can't get to your site at 2 o'clock, that's okay. It's archived. Just do 
the spiders alone. And then watch all the other things going on. You'll see the profits we're making. Give you an example. We're doing very well, well with um, uh, a lot of our other stuff. Budweiser, we're already up 7% in Budweiser. We're doing well with that. Uh, industrial ETF, X, XLI, we're up 5% already return on that. We've only been in that for about three weeks, four weeks. Um, but I'm not going to go through all of them. My point is I want you to help St. Jude, but you can't help St. Jude unless you're making money. So join right now, $39.95. I'll give you the, the MV2 color-coded chart for a month free. It's $30 value. Get that free. Please just follow me on the spiders, and I will prove to you that ETF. You will love it. And here's what you're going to like. One of the market, when the market starts to correct again, and it's going to correct because this is nothing but a big, fat, ugly bubble again. When it corrects, you're going to be on the right side. You're making money as it's shorting. So I, I need just 10 people to experiment with. 877-600-GANG. They're there at the phone right now. 877-600-GANG. Please join. Be one of the 10 and follow me with the spiders. Now, of course, while you're a gang member during the 30 days, it's up to you. You can choose any of the other stocks we're doing with the gang. You're you're more than welcome to participate, okay? But I'm really trying to get you to focus on the spiders, okay? But again, you can you can focus on any of the five stocks that, that we've been in for two years. All right, 877-600-GANG, please. Ten people, I'm going to prove it to you, and then you're going to help St. Jude. How's that? Okay, so going back to, to, to what's going on here right now with this market, I told you, that this market, on January 16, 2018, we would have a collapse in this market. We would have a crash. We did, 20%. Matter of fact, that was deeper than the flash crash we had. So what's going to happen now? All they're doing right now is Powell last night had dinner with the president. Here's what the president's trying to do. Think about this, how stupid this is. The market drops 20% since October. Now, remember, since November 2016, went up 37%. He was so excited. He took ownership of the market. And now he's saying, you know, that, that, that it's because of him the market went up, because of the president. Well, the president knows that's not true. He knows what stock buybacks are. That's why he called it a big, fat, ugly bubble. But he decided to switch and take over the ownership because he's thinking, why should I sit out there and fight every day? And, and, and like Phil does, and trying to convince people that this stock market is phony. If everybody wants to believe that this stock market is going up, why should I educate them? If 99% of the people who watch the stock market, when they see it go up, they think that's, that reflects the health of the, comp, uh, the, the economy, why on earth would I want to change their mind? So I'm going to own this market, and I'm going to do, give the corporations a big tax cut so they'll take all that money and buy stocks, pushing the market up, and... The, and that's why he got so mad with, with Powell. And he told Powell, you stop raising these rates at 2.5%. And I'll tell you last night, guarantee you last night, he's telling him, you better start cutting these rates because he wants more and more stock buybacks. And that's why do you think Schumer, Schumer is coming in. Schumer hates Trump and Sanders. And they're going to pull the carpet out from underneath them. Because if they pull out the stock buybacks, he owns the market. Join my gang looking for 10 people to work on the spiders right now. 877-600-GANG. Get your free chart. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I didn't quite process that. How's this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. 
I will make sure that all the stocks that we are engaged in that are going up, we will get maximum returns and we will be out of those stocks by watching our color-coded chart. You never again will have to worry about being out of an individual stock or an ETF or an index when the market crashes. You will be out before it does happen. All you got to do is join my gang, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-GANG. I'm reaching out to you. All I'm asking you to do is to reach back to the kids at St. Jude when you're making money. Don't wait. Find out more at phyllisgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at PhilzGang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call. 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877- Seven seven six hundred four two six four. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Game. Please, I'm reaching out to you so you can reach back to St. Jude, okay? They need over, what's it, one and a half million dollars a day now. I remember it used to be a year, uh, I mean a month, to operate. So I don't expect you to send any money unless you're making money. I'm going to prove to you that the spiders, the 500 best companies in the world, if all you do is follow those spiders with myself and my members, and when we tell you at 2 o'clock we post it what to do, and just don't go off the reservation, do exactly what we tell you, and then when the market starts to collapse again, we'll show you how to sell it short, nice and easy, simple, so you're making money on the way back down. you, you got to mitigate losses. When the market turns, starts dropping, don't sit there with your 401k. Just keep losing. Keep asking, what do I do? What do I do? So this is an alternative. So I'm going to give you the $30 chart free. You pay $39.95 for the gang membership. And then, look, during the month, you know, take a look at everything else we do. You may want to participate in other things. But I want you to really focus on one, just the spiders. I'm going to prove to you you're going to make more money with the spiders than you ever make with a 401k. So they're waiting for your call. I need 10 people to work with me, 877-600-GANG, you, and we'll have fun too, okay? And also be helping St. Jude, which is a good cause. All right, so listen to this. This is unbelievable. L- listen, listen to this nonsense right here. 
And when a firm like Apple buys back its shares, then you know those uh, that equity goes to some other startup firm that is investing in communities. That's, that's not true at all. But most of it goes to billionaires because billionaires own more of the stock market than non-billionaires. But that I don't think that that's caused by buybacks. And you have like 50 million American households enrolled in 401ks and then an undetermined. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The people in 401ks with stock buybacks. Are you kidding? They're getting set up for big fall. A four, oh, stock buybacks as this market goes up. Remember how we here's think about this. The market went up 37 percent from from 2016, November 2016, when when Trump won the, won the election that night. And it went up to October 2018. It was up 37 percent. October 5th, 2018, it turned around and dropped 20 percent because the interest rates were way too high. They were and, and they were rejected. The interest rate rejected. The economy was going to hell. They couldn't sign people up for mortgages. Things were falling apart. I don't have time to tell you everything was falling apart, but believe me, it was. So now what do they do now? They take and do stock buybacks to run it back up three quarters of that 20 percent they lost. But wait a minute. When they ran it back up three quarters of the way, let's say at 14 percent, think about this. You're smart. you got to ask yourself, wait a minute. If the interest rates were too high on October 5th to hold the market and it dropped 20 percent, we got the same interest rates today and they shoved the market back up three quarters of the way and they'll probably finish the rest of it with the same interest rates. It's going to drop. There's no question to it. It has to. How can the stock market drop? 20% by rejecting interest rates and then having the same interest rates go back up 14% or three quarters of the way. It doesn't make any sense, does it? No, because the whole 401k, I mean, the whole stock buyback is a scam. That's why the stock buyback, it was always a, a, a felony if a CEO used it. It was Reagan who changed it, and he was only changing it just for a little while. And then finally, in 2008, it's gone ballistic. Corporations right now are in such trouble. They got nine trillion in debt. Most of that debt, about eight trillion, is stock buybacks. And they have only one point two trillion in cash. So they can't borrow any more money. These corporate they're up to their neck. So now what they're going to do is they're going to take and use their cash flow to do more stock buybacks. But none of that stock buyback is going to help you. If you're working for some, if you're working for G or anybody else, you're, you're not going to be helped. They're not going to pass it down to you. Why would they? The CEOs are getting phenomenally rich because, remember, it was the Clintons who tied the CEOs to the stock price. Remember the Clintons said, oh, they're too rich. CEOs are getting too rich. I mean, we're going to fix them. We're going to tie their compensation to stock price. How'd that work out? How did that work out? Unbelievable, isn't it? So, again, 877-600 gang, please be one of the 10. Follow me for the next 30 days. We'll have fun. You'll make some money. But here's the thing I'm really looking forward to. When the market starts correcting again, you'll be in a position to short it, which you've never been in your life short, and you'll see how it works. Now, the other thing that's going on, which is, is this, this is just crazy. All right. L l listen, listen to this stuff. The state of the union under him has not been good and he has been divisive. The state. Of the, this is the crazy lady. This is uh, uh, Maxine Waters, who look it up. Congress, their peers, says she's the biggest crook in Congress. Her own peers say that. She lives in a $5 million house because while she's been sitting on the banking committee, she's been doing sweetheart deals for her, uh, her husband. What, I hope I got enough time. One deal she did, she sends out to like 700 uh, uh, banks. She said, I'm going to send out to 700 banks. Come and uh, sit down and talk with me. This was years ago. And we're gonna, this is when the market was crashing. And I'm going to sit back and see if I can help you. Well, guess what? She made sure in her office all those that were sent out were sent to wrong addresses. So only one person set, set, uh, showed up for the meeting, her husband. Oh, my God. She's just the only person here at the meeting. I guess I'm going to have to cut the deal with you. And so she gave him a sweetheart deal. They made a fortune, bought a $5 million house. She's the biggest crook in the world. And she's trying to tell us that Trump's, listen, Trump has done some great things. It's his advisors 
It's his advisors that are putting him in trouble. It's his advisors that tell him to own this stock market that now is going to be pulled out from underneath him by Schumer and, and, and by that communist in Vermont. They're going to uh, – Bernie Sanders. They're going to try to lock down no more stock buybacks. Boy, watch how this market changes then. You'll see this market collapse. If they actually put a bill through to cut back stock buybacks, you'll see this market drop 60%. This whole market is nothing since 2008, a big bubble. Think about it. We're up over 300% since 2008 because of stock buybacks. Because of stock buy Imagine stopping that. that, that it, 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 just, this, this, it would be no mercy. There'll be no mercy. So now the best thing you can do is this. Always put yourself in a position that regardless if the market's going up or the market's going down, it makes no difference to you. And also put yourself in a position you never have to listen to somebody tell you about the fundamentals of a company. I mean, I can't stand it when I hear these, like I, I did, today I, I was going through and they had the midtime report on CNBC. Listen to these guys, these egomaniacs argue back and forth why stocks are going up or stocks are going down. What does anybody get out of that? They don't even agree with each other. They don't even agree with each other, these dopes. Sometimes turn into CNBC, the halftime report. It is a joke. It's a joke. Unbelievable. And they're really, they're pumping their own stocks. This is crazy. This morning, do we have that cut from the, the gal this morning? No, okay. All right. Well, we'll run it. I'll do it tomorrow. I had a great cut. Um, but the best thing, here's what's going to happen to the market right now. Bottom row one. Uh, okay. Who knows what he's going to say in six months? I mean, it seems like he's really being driven by financial conditions. In some ways, the health. Okay, this is it. All right, this is this is this. Is, I'm setting this up for you. This is on CNBC this morning. They're talking about uh, Trump. Who knows what he's going to say in six months? I mean, it seems like he's really being driven by financial conditions. In some ways, the health of the stock market, and also, you know, by the, the market's pricing of break-even inflation in the market. So, if we see sentiment shift, if we see markets rally, if we see break-even inflations move higher, if we see financial conditions ease, could we see the Fed do another rate hike? You know, potentially, and I wouldn't rule that out. I certainly. All right. There's not going to be another rate hike. They're going to have to cut rates it's impossible they've got to cut rates because it's the same rates right now that took this market down that they ran the market back up anybody can see that anybody can see it even 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 uh, uh, uh what's his name leesman steve leesman who said things are wonderful because people are spending more money than they're, than they're making look the market is not a difficult place to make money it's because, first of all, 72% of the time the market goes up. You just need somebody to tell you when to buy, when to sell, and when to run like hell. That's me. Okay, 10 people, please, they're, they're on the phones right now. Sign up. Be one of the 10. Get your free chart. 877-600-GANG. And let's do the spiders. been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me!